Hey everyone, my name is Danilo Petrovic. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kuda. I'm Evgeny Donsko. I'm Henry Laksan. I'm Peter Torepko and you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Ah, welcome back once more, tennis fans. Here we are. We've done the ATP, uh, Barcelona and Belgrade, and now we're back for the WTA bracket, and we're in Istanbul and Stuttgart for these ones. Yeah. So we've got... Another two, mate. We've got another two this time for the women's. I've sorted my hay fever out. Apologies on the last one, guys. Uh, (laughs) It's been sunny today in the UK, so the pollen count's quite high. And uh, I'm struggling with it at the moment. That's that. It's those beers, mate, I think. Yeah, so probably the beers as well. Exacerbating everything. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, I think, uh, well, I'm conscious of the time and it's getting quite late here in the UK as well. Uh, yep. I, did you want to have a quick look through? Uh, I think we'd start in Stuttgart. And yeah, let's we'll start with that. Have a look through some of the previous winners in Stuttgart. Yeah, for uh, sure. If you can get them just... up. And why Ben gets that out, I just want to say, I put the link in for the Tennis Draw Challenge. If anyone wants to take part in this, it's completely free to do so. Just join with the link, uh, log in, and compete against all of us and see how, how well your tennis knowledge gets on with it. Uh, we've got Indeed. Table Tennis joining us. How are we doing, mate? Abbas is back on the Twitch. All right. Thanks for joining, mate. Yeah, indeed. Uh, and as you can see here, last year, well, not last year, last year wasn't uh, even held uh, due to the pandemic. And uh, the year before that, it looks like the Czechs were doing pretty well here. We had Kvitova winning in 2019 and Pliskova, Karolina, oh. winning in 2018. Mate, this so, is the perfect tournament for her. She yeah. doesn't do great in the Grand Slams and saves herself for Stuttgart. I <laughs> wonder if she's like in it. this one. Well, she beat Coco Vanderway in the uh, final there, and she's had a mighty fall from grace. Uh, over yeah, massive. Years. She's down, not sure even what ranking she is these days, but uh, yeah, she's got a long way back to the top. Uh, well, uh, I don't know if we want to go back and look through. You can see there's been some pretty big names of one here. Angelique Kerber, Maria Sharapova, Justine Enan. Yelena Yankovic, that's cool. Kuz- yeah, Kuznetsova as well in there. Lindsay Davenport, Kim Kleisters, Martina Hingis. Yeah, the list goes on. So that one, uh, well, if I just come away from that, and I think we should just get stuck into the draw, mate, to be honest. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, so I'm just going that. on it now. We have the qualifiers. Uh, they've actually been placed on into the draw on the Tennis Draw Challenge, which is really handy. Oh, nice so one. well done. Finally, they've done, their, they've done a good job of it for, for a change. And I can confirm the number one seed for this tournament is Ashley Barty. No and the number two seed, Simona Hallett. Oh, so some pretty uh, decent competition in this tournament. Uh, it's going to be a real tough one to select, I think. And um, you've got there, obviously, there's some Germans are going to be uh, in this tournament. We've got Laura Sigmund there up against Mona Bartel in the yeah. first round. Uh, for me, I'm going to go Sigmund. She's a bit more of a solid player for me. Yeah, hundred percent, mate. And I forget. Well, when we was watching Barty that time, was that on the clay courts? What recently? Yeah, when she won that title. It was in Miami. No, it was on the hard courts. Miami, of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, what's Ashley Barty like on clay? Obviously, she Very won good. the French Open. She's yeah, pretty, she's pretty good. But <laughs> yeah. I think that was a bit of a shock that came out at the time. It, it was, I, but I think she's yeah. good on them all, mate. To be honest, yeah. I don't think yeah. she's uh she has a weak surface. So excited to see how she gets on here. Uh, so this, the sort of the start of the clay courts for her. So uh, going down, uh, Yelena Ostapenko, we've got here. Uh, so she's up against Stephanie Vogeli. Uh, for me, Ostapenko, I'm going to go with him. I'm just going to go with. Uh, I'm going to start using just a bit of gut. I'm not yeah, I'm going to use my gut as well. I'm going to go Ostapenko uh, to beat Vigeli. I'll have Siegmund to beat Barfell and Pliskova to beat Korpach. I know Korpach someone we love on the podcast. We tried to get her on, yeah. I believe, at one stage. Never never come to fruition. She's the lucky loser here. She's the level below, really, more like challenger, yeah. ITF level tennis. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm but very good player, though. 
Surprised uh, Carolina's having to play a first round match. She doesn't get a bye. So yeah, I'm have... shocked by that. But yeah, Cole Patch, a lucky loser. And uh, yeah, if you're already losing in the qualification, I think uh, Plisk's going to be too much for you. Yeah. Uh, I think Plisk's going to go through again against Ostapenko as well. Uh, and I think Barty's going to go through the top. Barty Pliskova, very predictable for this one. Yeah, agreed, man. I have Barty heading that little section. Yeah, mate, I'm going to go with the same. I'm going to go Ash Barty to win this section. Moving down, Svitolina, she's back again. And we've got uh, former winner Angelique Kerber. She, I'm going to have her going through against the lucky loser. Yeah. Another lucky loser in there. Maria Sakari. Cool. Well, she picks herself for me against uh, Andrea Pekovic. Yeah, I feel like some of these seem to really... I think on the bookies, there must be like really short odds, like 1.1 yeah. or something. Some of these uh, uh, matchups first round. Yeah, I think some so. of them are very one-sided, I must admit. But it doesn't, it's not always like that. It's Brady Kavita one. Don't know. It's a, this is probably a bit closer. Brady's very much hardcore American. Um, but I don't know. Like maybe I'm lying. Maybe she's good on the clay courts, but that's just what I remember her as. Previous champ. She's going through for me, Kavitova. Yeah. So, agreed. Svitolina Kerber. That's more of a tough one to pick for me. Uh, just because Kerber, she's there, she's in Germany. I'm going to have Kerber beating Svitolina. It might be a bit of a shocker. Yeah, I'm going to go Svitolina personally, mate. Okay. I'm going to have... I'm going to have Svitolina Kvitova and I'm actually going to put Kvitova <clears throat> through. Why not? I'm not so sure. I might go Sakari here to beat Kvitova. Ooh. I'm going to go with a bit of an upset. I'm not sure if it's even an upset because Sakari is so good. I'm going to have Sakari... I think the odds will be... Even. So I think they'll both be like 1.8, 1.8, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it'll be close. So I'll have Sakari heading up this little section. Though. Nice. Good pick. So then we've got Sabalenka. I'm going to go Kvitova. So moving down okay. to Sabalenka, nice. as you say, the fifth seed against Zhang. I'll go uh, Sabalenka against Zhang. Then we've got... Uh, Two qualifiers. One. Yeah. I've... Eureka and Friedsum. I'm going with the German just at home. Yeah. Then Agreed. I'm going with Kontavit to beat Jana Mord Mordiger. Yeah, Kontavit, she got to the final, didn't she? Yeah. And the last time this tournament was played, she lost, but she definitely likes the conditions here. She's played well here, but in Stuttgart before, I think she's going to have enough for. I'll be honest, I've never, ever heard of Mordega. <laughs> okay, <Ever>. so <laughs> I'm going to go Sabalenka. I'm actually going to go Kontavit to beat Kenin in this tournament. <sighs> Wait, you're going for a lot of uh, upsets. I know. Not for me. Kenin's, I think Kenin's going to come back a little bit, actually, this tournament. I always have her going out, don't I? But I think she's going to have a little comeback. And I'm going to go Sabalenka to beat Friedsome. And then I'm going to have Sabalenka, Kenin, and Kenin to head the group. She's going to beat Sabalenka. Wow. Sophia. So, mate, well, I've got a tough one because now I've got Kontavi and I've got Sabalenka playing each other. And Sabalenka... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Sabalenka to beat uh, Kontavit. I think Sabalenka continues with a good good tennis. Yeah, and John <laughs> sums it up nicely, actually. Kenin's actually due a good tournament. She's been disappointing of late. I remember last year we did the end of year award, awards, and she was, I think she won it, didn't she? She was yeah. a standout player of the year. Yep. She had a great season. Won, won her first Grand Slam at the start, it, up to but... a final. Um, Could just be a slump. really though. good. Yeah, it just might be a little slump and she could, she's, she's due a good win. I think maybe Stuttgart could be the one. Yeah. Okay, next section. Benchic versus Schaefer. Going Benchic. I've got uh, Alexandrova versus Mukova. Slightly tough. That's a that tough one. one. That's the. That's a really tough one, actually. Good tie, though. That, I like that Yeah, one. I'm going to go Mukova. Neither have played on clay any uh, since the French Open. I'm going to go Alexandrova. Okay. I have Benchic beating Alexandrova, though. I'm going to have much of a beating Benchic. Ooh. We're going to have a little run from the much here. May, maybe. I've got Von de Sova. I think, he'll, I think she will beat Balskova. Yep, that's an easy one. But for me, Halep beats Von de Sova. And Halep heads the section and beats Benchich. Mm. Mm. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> You've convinced me. Okay. But I'll have Halep beating Muchva and Halep heading the section. Yeah, mate. I saw in the chat we've got some people excited to see Halep back. Yeah. Uh, I've lost it now. We've not seen her for a bit. And 
when we did, she didn't do great, but obviously class, class player. When you think of women's tennis, she's like one of the first people that spring to mind, along with the Venus, well, the Venus, the Williams sisters. Yeah. Venus right. being one of them. It she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we move to the top. We've got, uh, in my section, we've got Barty Sakari. Uh, and that's, uh, is that quarter final or is that semi final? It's the yeah, semi final. So I got Barty Sakari as my semi final. And I've uh, got Barty Kavitova. I'm going Sakari, mate. Ooh. In fact, before I, I've had a look at it, I've never looked at this until now. I looked at, I just had a glance through the names and I wanted Sakari as my winner. I was just an outsider. But then the fact that she's playing against Kavita our first round, I just don't think she, I don't know. I don't like oh, that route right. for her. Yeah, mate, it could. It's could a bad route right. for her. That's the only thing. But I, I can see your logic because I think she's quite good on the clay as well. So, oh, however, I'm not doing that. I've got Kavita a Barty. I'm going to go Kavita right into the final. Barty gets oh. knocked out. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those between those. I'd always pick Kavit normally, but yeah, I'm going against Kavit and I'm going with Sakari. Uh, nice one. Sabalenka versus Halop in the other side. That's a tough one as well. I've got Kellen, Ken in Halop. Ke oh, God, that sounds even more uh, enticing, that one. <laughs> Ken in Halop. Uh, for me, Sabalenka Halop. It's tough to call. Halop, is she back? Is she. Uh, is she back to her best? Is the question. About how will we know? Well, mine's going to surprise you because I've got Kenin Hallop. I'm actually going to have Hallop getting knocked out. I'm going to go Sophia mm. Kenin to make the final. And that's going to be tough because she's going to play Kontavi and Sabalenka on the route potentially. Yeah, but I mean, this is it. Just... If she gets through them two, I just I don't know. I feel like she'll beat Hallop as well. Because if she's playing well at that stage, she's all right. Yeah, this is it. Halep, don't forget, mate, she hasn't played clay court since uh, the French Open. I'm yeah. going to go Sabalenka, mate. I think so. I'm going to go with a completely different uh, final. Sabalenka Sakari, I'm going with. Okay. Uh, yeah, mate, Halep... we've definitely gone very different on this one, I must admit. Sabalenka Sakari. And, uh, oh, this is a bit of a weird one now for me because who have you got? Have you got, you've got, I've got. Of, uh, Kavitova Kenin. This couldn't be any more different, could it? Sabalenka no. Sakari. <laughs> I've got the, t the two Ks. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's annoying because I know that if Sakari goes out first round and she's my winner, then it's going to be... Uh, I'm going to have all hell to pay, aren't I? Uh, I just don't know. I just don't know. Uh, I'm going to go Sakari, though. I'm going to go Sakari. Ooh, that's bold, mate. Well played. Uh, I'm going to go Kenin. Kenin wins the whole thing. Wow. The number three seed. She's in the middle of the draw. She's due a win. Damn, I'm saying picking Kenin to go so far is risky, JG. Yeah, no, it is really risky. This um, whole thing is something risk, I've, It's something I've never done, really, in any of them. Any of them. So it's a one-off thing. <laughs> if it works out, I'm a genius. I don't Mate. think many people will have Kenin. JG I don't think means. many people will have Sakari either. So we've both <laughs> done something a bit unique. Who's your dark horse? Well, for me, I've not even picked a seeded player, so it's got to be my dark horse as well, surely, Sakari. Yeah, fair maybe, play. Do you my, a double whammy? <laughs> maybe my dark horse can be a seeded player. <laughs> <laughs> Core patch? No, I think, mate. Probably. Mm, yeah, that's probably a wise one. Former finalist. No, but Kerber. my dark horse is definitely, actually, I know who it is. It's Von Dressova. I'd say Kerber, maybe. I don't know. I think Von Dressova is a quality tennis player and she has a good chance. Uh, we've got John Silk having Von Dressova to go all the way to the final, which is wow. a really, really bold call. It'd be good to see John up in the leaderboard, see how he gets on. Uh, but personally, I'm going to go Sophia Ken is my main pick. Dark horse um, being, who was it again? Right at the bottom. What, Von Dressova. Oh, Von Dressova. And you've got Contavi. So I'm going to make yeah. sure you put your aces in, guys. Uh, save the bracket. And let's move over to the next one, which is Indeed. Istanbul. Let's do that. And we've got uh, less time for this one. It says only 10 hours. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to bring up the previous winners. Be happy to see who uh, last year <laughs> last year's winner <laughs> is. Mate, I'm fascinated. I have no clue whatsoever. The TIG was last <laughs> oh last really really that's mate. amazing mate. love that mate love that the tig 
That's class. Uh, she beat Bouchard in the final there, in the final set tiebreak as well. Wow. Epic. I know. Uh, other winners there, Petra Martic uh, beating Vondrasova the year before. We got Pauline uh, Parmentier there beating Helena Hel- Hercog. Svitolina, another champion in 2017. Uh, keep going back. Caroline Wozniacki, Pavlia Chenkova, Radwanska. Yeah, I mean, all the way back to 2005 when Venus Williams won it as well. So interesting stuff. And it just goes to show with the TIG winning it the last year, it shows that it's pretty much open for uh, anybody to have a stab at this for me. And not to be rude to the TIG, but uh, she's not high on the uh, the rankings, is she? She's no. uh, outside the top 100, I think. Well, I've got my eye on a few actually here. I'm just having a little look down. Sorry, man. I'm cheating already. Um, right, just looking at the go, seeds man. here. There is qualifiers. I will tell you who the qualif- qualifiers are because they've been put into the draw on um, on my little website here. So I can tell update nice. you with that. The number one seed is going to be Elise Mertens. Yep. And the second seed, Petra Martic. Okay. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, Mertens heading the draw at the top there. And... She will be facing the winner. Oh, well, no, she won't. She'll be facing a qualifier. Sorry. Uh, did you say who the qualifier was? Did you have that one? Sorry. Well, I'm not sure because we've got all the qualifiers, but she's not been assigned one. So maybe she's just got a buy, personally. Yeah, maybe. So what I would say is just give everyone just put Mertens for no, it. Not, yeah, I think everyone. Don't quote me on that. Um, but regardless, I'm going to go with that because I think that she beats all the qualifiers. Yeah, I think she beats all the qualifiers as well. Then we got Goldie Bick. I'm going to go actually pick Goldie Bick. She's playing. Well, uh, you don't know who is. She's going to be playing Paris as Diaz, a really good clay core from Spain. I'm going to go her. Ooh. I really like her. Actually, Great I didn't, know, I didn't know she was playing her. I'm going to her as well. Actually, I didn't oh. realize. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, th- I didn't realize. I thought it was just going to be a, another run of the mill. But um, no, it's a good a good clay quarter. Yeah, and uh, Paris as Diaz, as you say. Yeah, Spanish, 29 year old, 159th in the world. Yeah, mate. I think that she's look and she's in good form as well by the looks of it. So, yeah, yeah, really good player. Had a good beat Roos in Bogota. So there you go. It's enough for me to uh, pick her. I'm having Mertens beat another. <laughs> so you yeah, go we've got uh, Sinia Kova here against Christina Buxa. Ooh, it's Buxa. Got, I don't know. It's a tough one. Yeah. I've not seen much of Sinia Kova on clay, to be honest. Very true, and Buxa has just come through the qualifying and won both of her matches in straight sets as well, beating Jakubovic and Christian. Yeah, I'm going to go Buxa. I'm going to go for the qualifier. I'm not. I'm going to go with Siniakova. Okay. Boring. Uh, uh, yeah. Zeng versus Mladenovic. Mladenovic for me. Uh, they're very closely matched. Uh, Madlenovic at the moment, she's on a four-match losing streak. I think it continues. I'm going Zeng. Okay, nice one. I'm then going to have the qualifier three beating oh. Mladenovic and advancing to play Mertens, but then Mertens head in the section. This is a tough one for me. I'm going to have Zeng winning, but Mertens <laughs> winning the section. Nice. I think a lot of people will, to be fair. Mertens is class. Uh, and then we got so, and Tig is not playing Istanbul. She's injured. Oh, that's uh, a shame. The Tig, one of our faves. Always sad when we don't get to see her. Uh, so next, oh, moving Kuda. down, Kuda Metava uh, playing Bernardo Pera. Going with Kuda Metava. I'm gonna, mate. I think I'll back you. Yeah, I'll go for that as well. Well, I don't know. You want, you I'm trying to be a bit to... alternative. You, you got some to... stats for me. Yeah, yeah. Well, she just uh, won her last six on clay, Kuda Mentova. Uh, win, I believe she won the tournament in, uh, where was oh, it? Yeah. Halston. So yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. She's looking yeah, okay, pretty good. Fair enough. I'll go for her. Hera's lost her last five. So won her last six versus lost her last five. Yeah, it's got to be. Gotta Kai Kanepi's sure. back. Kanepi, Kanepi. The Kai. Got to put her through regardless. What? You think that she's just going to wipe the floor with her? No, I don't know. I'm just putting her through because it's her. I like Kanepi. Yeah, no, we do love her. Whoever she was playing, I'll just put her through that first one. Next one would be <laughs> tough, though. 
yeah, I think could have went to a beta, but that's such, but I, I want Canepi to win at least one match. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Habino Bogdan. It's a bit of a pick on mate. What do yeah, you think? I'm gonna go Habino, mate. I seem to back her too often, but uh I'll never learn my lesson. <laughs> I'm going with her and I'm obviously with this one, Cry No, for me. I, I'm gonna go Bogdan personally. Really? Yeah. Oh, I just wow. uh, Habino is annoying me. I'm going with Krajakova to knock Habino out though. Yep. And I would, this is a tough one for me. Kudamentova <sighs> or Kanepi? Well, Krajakova, mate, you was um bigging her up on the on the last one we we did. And yeah. you never picked her and she ended up winning loads, I remember. No, mate. This is what she I mean. Back this is what to I do this to these players, though. Uh, Krajakova, I really like on the clay courts, though. She only lost at the French Open in in three sets to Podoroska. Yeah, that's quite uh, nice. And uh, I think I'm going with Krajakova to beat Kudamentova here and head yeah. up this bracket. I'm going to go Kudamentova. At least okay. it's different to you. Nice. So below, we've got Wang. Oh, the Wang. And playing Gasanova. So Gasanova yeah. is the qualifier. Uh, okay. Uh, doesn't really help me much. Uh, our gas and over 181 in the world. She's come through the qualifying. She's won two matches already. You'd think Wang would be too strong. I'm gonna go Wang just basically. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm putting Wang for her as well. Oh, and next one's interesting though. Anna Conja. She's up against. Uh, can she conjure up a win against Sara Arani? Jay Definitely for me. Famous. Definitely. I love Anna Kunja. I'm putting her through. And I'm going to put her through Wang as well while I'm here. Anna Kunja can have a little run this tournament. Let's go. Not for me. Sarah Rani beats her and beats Wang. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know, mate. I know. As you don't like that. Anna Kunja much, do you? I do, but on the hard courts more. Okay. So, Kostyuk, somebody here. There's one that I do like a lot. He doesn't have anyone playing her. I think she might have a bye. Uh, bear with me. Or is she? Uh... Sorry, I've can't I can't see that one on her. Mm. Oh no, might... sorry, Kostya. Yeah, it looks like she might have a buy. Yeah, I'm right. gonna give her a buy anyway. Yeah, I Amina. think Kostya's a class player. I mean, so I was saying, is that right. is that the good Wang? Yeah, that is the good Wang. Yeah, Yang it's just, Wang is it's the, the best Wang. wang. It's the best Wang you ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Kostya going through. Yeah, and she is going to hang out. I said Kina, and she's going to be playing. Have you got it up there? Oh, mate, I don't even need to see. I'm just going Kasat Kina. I finally pronounced her name right for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> but, How did you used to say it? Uh, I don't know. It's Kas Kas Kina or something. I was like Kasat Kina. She's but... playing Mardeza. Mer this is tough, really, actually, because um, Medeza has actually been playing on the clay. She beat Do Dodin recently on yeah, the clay. But uh, if you look at the recent form of Kasat Kina, uh, she has... On clay, though? No. Yeah, no, I'm not even worried about where it's, whether it's on clay or not. I think confidence is a massive factor. She's been playing better opposition than who... Uh, Madreza has been playing. Madreza beat Barillo Escaruela in the next last match. Oh. Never heard of her, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I'm probably going to have people write in and say, uh, "How dare you?" But I haven't. So <laughs> you, I'm man. going with Kasat Kina. She's in hot form this year. She has won, I believe it is, eleven of her last twelve matches. I think she continues it onto the clay courts. She's not bad on the clay either. Yep. She's not, she beats Von Areva in Rome last year. She beats Siniakova. I think she's got enough to uh, to do the job. Cool. Cool. Sorry, I just went put her through one extra round there. Oh, what am I doing? I'm putting her through all the way. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just clicking buttons, mate. And she's flying through the rounds. And maybe that's a sign, mate. I didn't mean to do it. Maybe that's a sign. Uh, I think I'm actually... Oh, cost you, for me, mate, for me. I actually mm. love Kostyuk a lot, so it makes it really tough for me. Uh, wait, wait, how do you have Kasatkina versus Kostyuk in the next round? Yeah, sorry, well, I've done that bit already. I've got Kasatkina to beat Kostyuk, and then Kasatkina to head the group and beat Konja. Mate, I think I'm, I, I, I did it by accident, but I think I'm just gonna have to leave it based upon <laughs> Kasatkina. It must have happened for a reason. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm following that as well. I like her. 
So Pavlyuchenkova versus Potapova, the Anastasia battle here. Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova, Anastasia it's Potapova. There's going to be one Anna, and I'm yeah. going for the, the, the top Anna, Pavlyuchenkova. Ooh, but not Potapova? It's tight, mate. It's a, it's a pick I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, mate. I mean, for me, I think you're right. I think Pavlyuchenkova is a stronger player. So let's go Pavlyuchenkova. We've got Kozlova. Versus Sustaya. Do you dare pick Sustaya again? <laughs> Mate, I had win a tournament recently the, on the last few and she she let me down, but Man, I'm going to have her winning this one. I had to get, get to the final of one. She pulled out of the tournament and ruined my <laughs> entire bracket, man. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> so she's not in either of our good books. That's no. for sure, Sustaya. Uh, I don't know if she is a stayer or not. Uh, I don't know whether to trust her anymore. I think I'm not going to trust her. I'm going to go with Kozlova knocking Sustair out. And uh, I'm going to go Pavlyuchenkova to knock Kozlova out, though. Yep. Uh, I'm actually going Sustair and Sustair to beat Pavlyuchenkova. Oh, I've not no, learned my no, lesson, no, what mate. Doing? What's he up to? Right mate, now? it gets crazier, actually. So down below, Zvonareva, her car. I'm going to have Zvonareva yeah, beating her car. And then the number two seed's out. I'm going to go Fiona Ferro back on the clay. Elite athlete. I think she beats Martic, knocks her out. I think that's a horrible draw for Martic. I think she's been really. She's been really, un- yeah, 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 really has. So that's that's rude. It couldn't have been any worse. Person Dish, dished her up. Uh, <laughs> a person who we thought could go all the way at the French potentially. So yeah, I'm going to go with the same as you, mate. I'm going for Fiona Ferro. I'm going to have Fiona Ferro heading this bracket. Yeah, exactly, mate. I've got Fiona Ferro then beating Sir Stow and she's heading the little group. So now, I think that's the semi-final as well. So we've got the semi-final action. At the top, I've got Mertens Kudamatova. Is that the same as you? I've got Krajakova Mertens Ooh. at the top. And at the bottom, I've got Kasatkina Ferro. Ooh, and I've got the same. So yeah. at the bottom... It's never happening then, is it? <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly right. I'm going to go Krajakova, mate. I'm just going to try and force Mertens out this tournament. Uh, I just, nah. she's always there. She's always Mertens, there. I think she's got a good chance. I'm actually going to go I think, Mertens. I think she, uh, she beats okay. Kuda Matova. I'm just good doing it for the risk, mate. I've just got, you got to go big or go home in some of these. I've gone pretty well, big on these next one. And Faro. Yeah. I've got Ferro, mate. Ferro as Ferro. well. <laughs> Mertens, Ferro final. Let us know in the chat, guys. Who do you have going all the way to the final? Yeah. Um, and also, like the video if you haven't already. It would be great. Uh, get some likes on these women women's videos as well. Yeah, exactly. It seems that the live chat's dried up a little bit uh, <laughs> for the women's draw. What's going on, guys? Come on. Uh, right. Krajakova versus Ferro. Uh this is really tough because Fiona Ferro could go out straight away in this tournament and I could have been in another Maria Sakari situation right now. I'm going to back Krajakova. I want her to win win a tournament. Oh, nice. nice. I'm going Krajakova. Hopefully she yeah, I also it. have Ferro in the final and I have her losing, but this time to Mertens. I feel like it's more feasible probably. I like your um, final more. Yeah, it'll be a good final. Hopefully, we can cover it if if it's a good time. But Mertens Ferro final and Mertens wins. I like that. Melmino saying so just picking Martin so, so that when Ferro goes out, he can beat both of us. <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah, well, if, if Martin wins, most people will be beating both of us. Yeah, uh, that's guaranteed. But I think the the finalist comes from that matchup, so it's tough to pick. So you're either going to be a top of the bracket guy or you're going to be bottom of the bracket guy so it's that's what it can be like in these uh ones and i think martic has been screwed by the tournament organizers there getting pharaoh in the first round so yeah and i think we can confirm that our dark horse is going to be identical right we're both going to have fiona pharaoh as the dark horse it's got to be well i think krajakova is not a is she a a thing let's have a look no she is she's fifth seed mate Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, it's got to be Ferro. Yeah. So, man, so I'm gonna have to we're go both going to have as dark again. horses, Fiona Ferro. My main pick's going to be Elise Mertens, and yours is going to be... My main pick is Krajakova, mate. Nice. Yeah, man. And that concludes the Istanbul bracket. 
It does indeed, mate. I'll have to enter my one back in again. Don't worry about that. I've just done that stupid mouse pad thing where I've just reset it. That's all right. I'll go back through and pick up. <laughs> does go going, Ben, again. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> I know. Literally. What we've, got, we've got Kyler here going. He's got Mertens Casakina final with Mertens winning. That's a good one. Like that. Uh, Andrew's got Mertens winning the final uh, and Hallett winning Stuttgart. Gone for some, nice. some big, good, great tennis players there. I like it. Yeah, I do like it as well. Oh, I've got to be careful with this, mate. Anyway, mate, I'll let you fill that <laughs> in. Um, and with that, we're going to conclude this one. Thanks to everyone who's joined us for this one. I know it's getting quite late here. Um, if you haven't already, please give us a like on the video. Go check out the other bracket previews we did. Uh, we'll, we'll do all the announcements of the, the concluding the brackets tomorrow on that one. I have updated the Google Sheets, don't worry. Uh, and it's all going to be on there. Um, so, yeah, I will yeah. see you We'll see you tomorrow for that. Good luck in this one. Uh, we'll, see you, we'll see you soon. Indeed, guys. Good luck. See you tomorrow.